Owen Parker it's barely referenced that he was brought into the world in 1970 had something like one kin and lived in Indiana US he came from a working class family and was generally an enterprising young fellow with a craving for freedom personal growth and a yearning to take on the world consequently it's not shocking that following moving on from secondary school he looked for ways of bringing in cash and as per his sibling his most memorable occupation was as a server's right hand in a cafe. However he didn't keep going long. There strangely John became furious at work and stopped anyway this didn't hinder his desires and in the near future he got another line of work that not just permitted him more freedom in his undertakings yet additionally drove him to find his actual calling deals John started filling in as a house to house sales rep for Kirby vacuum cleaners at first his family ridiculed him yet in a brief time frame John demonstrated to everybody that he had found his bearing in life as a matter of fact. Toward the finish of his most memorable year he was essentially the organization's number one sales rep nearby and declared he wouldn't make do with only that functioning extended periods from 12 to 16 hours per day he became not just a deals chief whose accomplishments were perceived at organization gatherings yet in addition an aide for different sales reps who found groundbreaking thoughts motivation and a good example in him it was during this time that he met 20 year old Judy a little kid who was brought into the world in October 1969 and lived in Texas in a low income group of three youngsters she was exceptionally cordial and despite the fact that John was not hoping to enlist more sales reps at the time Judy persuaded him that she was the most incredible in the deals field regardless of her young age she was not a modest young lady as a matter of fact she was a completely developed lady who with her folks ascent had hitched at 14 and was separated with two kids Christina and Daniel Hicks when she met John John chose to allow this decided candidate an opportunity and turned into her tutor in vacuum cleaner deals Judy not just procured a spot in the deals force drove by John yet in addition won the core of her chief and in a little while they left on a close connection John's life could never have been exceptional he had a very much procured standing as a great sales rep and mentor and furthermore had Judy's help throughout everyday life and work with these establishments he chose to go into business in Michigan turning into a deals and administration administrator for Kirby vacuum cleaners he likewise offered instructional meetings for sales reps passing on. His own mystery and the energy that had made him a star in the area his organization was perceived as one of the top nearby and John generally featured, that he had made this progress thanks to Judy's help in 1992 with his expert life settled the couple got hitched and before very long they committed themselves to exhibiting what a decent salesman could accomplish in life the couple had two little girls Tiffany and Erica getting the quantity of youngsters the family to four they moved homes a few times generally to better areas and the kids started to partake in the advantages procured through the difficult work of John and Judy at first he approved of his Spouse wife's kids Christina was a sweet young lady and Daniel was to some degree hyperactive and wicked the Parkers partook in a decent home phenomenal schools for the kids very good quality vehicles and continuous getaways John was storing up a huge fortune and didn't have any desire to conceal it in actuality he involved it as a motivator for the youthful sales reps he prepared showing them what could be accomplished through difficult work anyway as time elapsed and Judy's kids entered. Their teen years issues started Christina's decision of companions was horrible as she picked those with the most terrible way of behaving and taken part in drinking with them purportedly as per a few sources she likewise utilized sedates in the meantime 13 year old Daniel was not on a decent way either and appeared to be irate and inadequately went with constantly on one event while with a gathering of companions Daniel took John's vehicle and cruised all over the area obliterating a significant number of the letter box posts the following day John went from one house to another paying the proprietors for the harm caused to keep them from revealing the kid to the police close to this time John was likewise called to his stepson's school to get a protest about the kid's terrible conduct apparently on this event John wound up raising a ruckus around town man which obviously created pressure in the connection relationship following nine years together Judy at long last took her family to Texas so they could see the unassuming spot where she had grown up meet one of her siblings who actually resided there during this outing Judy griped to her sibling that her 
marriage was fizzling and that John abused her youngsters the fact of the matter was that Judy a long way from perceiving that her more established kids were on some unacceptable way favored them which obviously warmed up what appeared to be a strain cooker on the off chance that everything was at that point terrible things deteriorated when John started to think that his significant other was being untrustworthy with a worker of his organization consistent with his approach to tackling issues. John was not a man to sit and stew over an issue yet a man of activity to rule out uncertainty he introduced cameras in different pieces of the workplace lastly got obvious proof that validated his intuitions at that point John's reality imploded and his beforehand happy and friendly way of behaving took a 180 degrees turn he started to drink and affected by liquor he had horrible contentions with Judy as well as turned out to be harsh towards his kids his little girl Tiffany got a beating with a belt when her instructor illuminated her dad that she had not carried her schoolwork to school when the educator saw the imprints from the beating the following day she called social administrations to report the episode before they showed up John made it clear to the four children that if they had any desire to keep partaking in the sumptuous everyday routine they had been experiencing up to that second it was smarter to not express anything about the beating without a doubt Tiffany faulted her stepbrother Daniel for what had occurred and he didn't deny it anyway John's terrible state of mind didn't just influence his family his workers and, surprisingly, the organization's clients experienced they deceived spouses eruptions of fury looking to put distance between his significant other and her sweetheart he chose to move the family to a selective region in Crown Point Indiana regardless of as yet being enamored with Judy and trusting that by eliminating her from enticement they could have a new beginning things didn't improve while Judy started to work on her appearance by getting more fit and changing her look John let his facial hair develop began smoking his closet was decreased to pants and he was continually diverted the business endured because of his state winding up practically bankrupt and offering his Boat to remain above water bits of gossip coursed in the workplace. That Judy was taking part in an extramarital entanglements with Jeff John's right-hand man however it was hazy assuming that the reports were valid they without a doubt filled more conflicts at one point Judy informed him that she had chosen to separate yet it wouldn't be that basic John felt that he had given everything to his significant other hauled her out of destitution acknowledged her youngsters gave her extravagances or more completely cherished her to the mark of worshipful admiration. With that equivalent energy transformed into disdain he started to remove all his better half swell springs of cash he made it. Clear that on the off chance that she left she would leave with nothing and his distinct advantage was the recording of her unbeliever it with the workplace representative this was the situation toward the start of 2003 and obviously the strains between the couple impacted the kids whose conduct went from terrible to more regrettable even Tiffany spent special times of year grounded on the grounds that she and a companion had lit a fire on school grounds the finish of the contentions. Came on Thursday, April 17, 2013 when John and Judy went out to supper alone at an eatery potentially. Attempting to track down an answer for their circumstance or perhaps attempting to restrain the showdown after supper they called home to keep an eye on the children and declared they would return without further ado at that point Christine requested that they come by the workplace since she had left a school notepad there leaving the cafe they went to the organization and JN made a move to carry the extra supper to Jeff who was probably working late the couple showed up at the workplace in an Abandoned modern region not long before 10 p.m. both entered the office while John conversed with Jeff Judy got her girl's journal and gotten back to the vehicle left external minutes after the fact John emerged from the workplace and opened the back entryway on the driver's side to look for something in the vehicle when out of nowhere two uproarious bangs were heard and JN imploded on the parking area floor right away the 911 got calls from Judy and the other from Jeff as standard in such cases police and clinical help units showed up at the scene inside. The space of minutes sadly John 33 years of age had been shot toward the rear of the head and was proclaimed dead on the scene after examining Judy who was inside the vehicle at the hour of the occurrence the lady could essentially contribute nothing she expressed she was staying there when her significant other emerged from the workplace opened the secondary passage on the driver's side and promptly heard two explosions Judy described that her response to hearing the shots was to conceal safeguarding herself with the seat and when she lifted her 
had she simply figured out how to impression what appeared to be a man in dull clothing taking off from the vehicle John's wallet was missing so from the start the occurrence appeared to have been a burglary however the more the scene was broke down the more questions emerged in the examiner's psyches nobody other than the couple realized they would have been there so a progression of inquiries were formed how could somebody be hoping to commit an irregular burglary in a modern region that had no individuals available for use around evening time assuming it had been a Theft for what reason did they first end his life and really at that time stripped him of his wallet when in plain sight John was wearing a 20,000 gold Rolex and other effectively open gems why hadn't the cheat looked through the pockets as lawbreakers as a rule do in these sorts of attacks a greater number of inquiries than response to two slug housings were found at the location of the assault this matched Judy's record of hearing two explosions one of the shots took John's life very quickly and concerning the other there was no authority data with their heads brimming with questions the examiners started their work and obviously the primary individual they took a proclamation from was Judy she guaranteed that some time before her better half had a he contention with a worker of his organization and distinguished the man past this Judy couldn't give much else of interest past what she had said at the location of the occurrence Jeff was likewise not supportive he was inside the workplace and when he emerged after hearing the explosions everything was at that point over in the interim they Specialists reached the Parker occupants and the call was replied by Christina who was educated that her stepfather had died. With the burglary intention nearly precluded investigators turned their concentration towards John's circle beginning with the supposedly angry representative the man affirmed they had a critical contention yet said it had been genuinely settled besides he had an explanation that was explored and checked the examination then, at that point extended to almost everybody near the youthful financial specialist colleagues past and current workers contenders and, surprisingly, John's loved ones the main somewhat dubious finding was the connection between the widow and the organization's senior supervisor yet there was no significant proof Judy's disposition during her significant other's memorial service was extremely captivating remarks referenced Judy seeming lively and associating with companions as a glaring difference to the normal morning conduct her ex the dad of her two kids was likewise noted to be serenely perusing a paper at the burial service four days after John's homicide Daniel 15 was taken in to be interrogated on doubt of contribution this doubt depended on an occurrence a half year earlier where police were cautioned by gangsters that Daniel had paid them to kill his stepfather John despite the fact that they said they never planned to finish and had just kept the cash the police to the story impossible taking the cash and recording a report without obvious further activity anyway given John's possible homicide examiners returned to Daniel's expected contribution under cross-examination Daniel admitted to paying people to hurt John meaning not to kill however to harm him like breaking his legs regardless of keeping one of the young Daniel supposedly haggled with he was delivered because of a strong plausible excuse confirmed by the examination Daniel was delivered following nine days because of absence of significant proof and his minor status later it was uncovered that John generally disliked Judy's kids prompting more examination concerning Daniel and exposing doubts about Judy's little girl Christina 17 Christina denied all that when Addressed and like before the claimed, plan turned into dead end given that the two teens held on to shown a craving to kill John specialists pondered where the cash for these plans was coming from thinking Judy as the main conceivable source further requests uncovered that the connection between the couple had essentially decayed before John's passing with no less than one of Judy's undertakings becoming exposed anyway sources demonstrated that John in no way wanted to leave his better half and was looking for ways of rescuing the relationship the essential rationale and Judy to focus on her significant other gave off an impression of being monetary with analysts finding John had two life coverage arrangements adding up to one million Judy had endeavored to guarantee this cash after her better half's passing yet the insurance agency at first would not pay referring to the continuous examination concerning his demise the installment was additionally muddled by John's dad who thought Ed Judy's contribution in his child's death in spite of these leads the case at last slowed down with just conditional proof accessible life. 
continued on yet tremendous changes happened inside the Parker family Judy was barely at any point home obviously occupied with her new accomplice Jeff Johns believed supervisor in her non-attendance the more seasoned kin dealt with their more youthful relatives Tiffany and Erica months after the fact Judy and Jeff chose to move out of state with JS more youthful little girls while Daniel went to reside with his organic dad Christina stayed in the house now pregnant and with a sweetheart. However the examination had reached a stopping point specialists kept the case. Open routinely returning to the records in order to find something significant their perseverance paid off while following another lead they grilled a few classmates of Christina and Daniel who owned up to selling them a gun this data drove investigators to explore a piece of family owned land utilized by Christina for shooting training after reviewing the region specialists to be sure found a few shot housings these discoveries were examined in research centers and a critical hint was found they Slug Housings Coordinated Those from John's crime location in 2007 extra data arose through a partner and opiates official who had been following Christina's ex-boyfriend engaged with a medication case and captured looking for mercy for his situation the ex unveiled a discussion with Judy in which she referenced that it was her child Daniel who had discharged the shot that took John's life faced with this data 21 year old Christina connected to the weapon utilized in the wrongdoing immediately started to talk she owned up to buying the weapon and calling her folks the evening of the episode requesting that they come by the workplace under the misrepresentation of getting failed to remember schoolwork she admitted to being important for an arrangement to kill John with her sibling Daniel assigned as the shooter when 19 year old Daniel was found and kept in Arizona he was given the new ballistics proof and his sisters record he promptly conceded aid to being the person who shot JN however guaranteed that Judy their mom was the genius behind the plot Daniel revealed that Judy had produced organization checks to assemble the vital assets to employ assassins to kill JN the sum taken was purportedly 7,500 anyway when the underlying arrangement fell through in light of the fact that the recruited people took the cash without finishing the task Judy supposedly trained them to buy the weapon for her child to use rather besides Daniel uncovered it was Judy's plan to make the affection for going out that evening by settling on the decision about the schoolwork he expressed he Shot John once in the head and the subsequent shot was a unintentional release while he was rifling through John's pocket for his wallet adhering to his mom's directions he was likewise told to get back with without cautioning his more youthful sisters an undertaking worked with by Christina who kept the young ladies busy with TV the kin guaranteed their mom had persuaded them to carry out the wrongdoing by charging they were survivors of maltreatment by John and promising them a superior existence with additional cash and opportunity it was additionally uncovered. That this was not Judy's most memorable endeavor to kill her significant other she had recently attempted to harm his food driving just to a short hospitalization for John assuming some pretense of food contamination toward the finish of 2007 Christina and Daniel were officially accused of homicide and scheme Christina argued not liable to the connivance charge and was delivered on bail a while later in walk 2008 Daniel then 20 years of age conceded to a trick charge to kill his stepfather and made an arrangement to concede his responsibility and embroil his mom in the wrongdoing in return for his collaboration the arraignment concurred not to accuse him of the more serious offense of homicide in spite of the fact that he would in any case confront a sentence of 20 to 25 years in jail Daniel guaranteed that almost a year prior to the occurrence when he was 14 his mom and sister previously requested that he assist with killing JN he point by point that his mom gave him and his sister cash to purchase a gun as well as furnishing him with dark dress gloves and a veil to wear upon the arrival of the wrongdoing she likewise educated him on how to do the terrible errand including cleaning up after getting back to kill any hints of explosive at last Judy got a sense of ownership with discarding the weapon the garments worn during the wrongdoing and her significant others wallet confronting the unavoidable in July 2009 six years after her significant others passing Judy gave up to the specialists and consented to concede to trick to perpetrate murder recognizing her job in arranging executing and concealing the wrongdoing the arraignment mentioned that she be condemned to life detainment with it least 28 years and a limit of 35. 
years Judy approaching 40 was condemned to 33 years in jail in late August 2009 the next month Daniel was condemned to 23 years and toward the beginning of October Christina who in the long run confessed to helping a lawbreaker got a five-year sentence press reports demonstrate that Daniel was delivered in 20 comma 17 subsequent to partaking locally progress court program and decided to carry on with a low-profile life from there on Christina carried out four years of her punishment and was delivered in 20,13 yet unfortunately she passed on from a medication glut not long after her. Yet again discharge this case is set apart by voracity regardless of Judy's troublesome early life and later achievement her voracious longing for more drove her to perpetrate shocking wrongdoings tragically her activities obliterated an effective business visionary as well as significantly influenced her four youngsters driving two to jail and leaving the more youthful ones without their dad and mom.